teacher talking sports what it does what it do how we live in nfl free agency has been going on for what a little over a week now uh the league year has begun uh on espn plus they have grades for every big signing uh plus draft outlook for each move so national nfl reporters jeremy fowler dan graziano and kevin seifert grading each big free agent signing of the 2022 offseason. So they haven't graded every free agent signing, just what they deem as the big ones. I think they have like 60 plus grades. So in this video, I'm just going to look at the highest grades handed out by these three gentlemen and the worst grades. ESPN Plus is behind a paywall. So I'm not going to share the actual article but i thought we'd get into the top grades so espn plus uh they gave two guys a pluses and six guys a's so these are the eight highest grades uh, as you see two a pluses they hand out one to alan robinson who i am a believer in that he will have a comeback season 15 million a year i'm not sure i would have given this an a plus though uh, but should make the Rams' offense even more potent, made uh, Robert Woods expendable. He's since been traded to the Tennessee Titans. Ryan Jensen to the Buccaneers. A lot of teams were supposedly after him. Uh, the Bucks have a lot of continu continuity uh, with their roster. Um, good re-signing by the team, as well as Carlton Davis, three years, $45 million. Uh, Devontae Campbell, uh, surprising first-team All-Pro, signed for maybe around $2 million last year to join the Packers. Uh, so that was a great deal for them. Uh, $10 million a year. Uh, we'll see if he could keep it up. Again, uh, five years is a long time. Uh, Devin McCourty has been a Patriot uh, mainstay for a decade plus. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater for six and a half million, not a bad deal uh, for uh, upper level backup quarterback. We've seen um, other ones get more money than that, and Bridgewater uh, probably will is better than a few starting quarterbacks at the moment. And everyone seems to love that Morgan Moses signing for just five million a year. Uh, kind of surprising that the Jets let him move on uh, for just that amount. Now the worst grades, uh, they handed out four C's, a C minus, and a D. Starting with the C's, uh, that's almost in full agreement, everyone. Christian Kirk, four years, $84 million, uh, with the Jaguars. Will be one of the highest paid wide receivers in the game and never had an 1,000-yard season. Came close this past year. Uh, but, you know, it took DeAndre Hopkins getting hurt. If Hopkins had stayed healthy, I'm sure he wouldn't have had as much. Randy Gregory, of course, uh, originally was believed to re-sign with the Cowboys, ended up spurning them to join the Broncos. A lot of risk factor involved there. Justin Reed has been a solid safety for the Texans. Uh, the C grade's probably due in part because uh, even though he's still out there, doesn't look like they will be bringing back the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. Uh, Trubisky, I don't think that's a bad deal, to be honest. Uh, you know, he could be a bridge quarterback if they draft. Uh, a lot of mock drafts have them taking Malik Willis. Uh, so I don't see that as that bad, bad a deal. Mike Williams, uh, we'll see if he could continue uh, the play he had last year. He was also very inconsistent. I would know I had him on my fantasy team. Uh did put up his best numbers of his career, but did have a lot of games where he didn't produce much. And the worst grade they handed out so far, uh, a D to James Conner, two years, $14 million. Yes, we know running backs, uh, a lot of people don't believe in paying them unless they're elite of the elite. James Conner is not, although he had a ton of touchdowns. What I will say that I don't get is I believe Chase Edmonds signed with the Miami Dolphins for two years, $12.1 million. Not a big difference, and I think they gave that deal a B plus. And yes, the Dolphins definitely needed a running back, but was is he really—you know, I, I don't get why that gets a B plus. 
and James Conner gets a D uh, when the money really isn't that big a difference, twelve point one million to fourteen million. But thus far, uh, they out, out of all the deals they've graded, they believe James Conner is the worst. So let me know, guys, what do you think have been the worst signings in the NFL? Kept bringing up the wrong windows. Uh, what do you think have been the worst signings? What have been the best value signings? Which high priced free agents do you believe will pan out which ones don't you think will pan out let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe like the video share the video hit the bell for notifications i'm out